I'm here with Giho Jang and Joe Trubatch from DRC Hubo, and they've also brought Hubo the robot, robot with them. How are you guys today? Good, good. Good, good. So for anyone who doesn't know, what is Hubo? Mm -hmm. Hubo is the bipedal robot. See, two, here, uh, two, two, two legs. He can, he can, Hubo can walk, walking someplace. So also Hubo can translate the you know, film mode. So he moved to around, to him to around like a uh, beaker. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. So he can like roll around and everything. Yes. Okay, mm. cool. He walks like a human, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How did the idea of Hubo come about? Uh, the Hubo is the, actually we didn't, we didn't make and we didn't design the hardware part. The hardware part made the um, Kaist in Korea, the doctor of Juno O, he developed the, the hardware and we we buy we bought we bought the Hubo in here and we make the in, inside the inside program. So we we for, uh, for the IC uh, final final type of robotics challenge final. Oh, okay. <laughs> and have you guys like always been mm -hmm. into technology and robots? Um, yeah, I mean, for myself at least, yeah, I grew up with computers and it was just sort of the natural progression of things for me. It took a little bit of a detour, but wound up back here in technology. Okay, that's cool. So, I know when people think of robots, they want to know if it can grab something from the refrigerator for them, turn off the light for them. What can Hubo do? Um, in that regard, he can do whatever we can think to manage him to do in the sense, yes, we could get him to go to the refrigerator and grab something out of it um, or turn off a light, but that's something that we would have to specifically get him to do. At the moment, the things that essentially we have him programmed for are all of the tasks we use in the DARPA Robotics Challenge, so things like driving, opening doors, driving. Um, interacting with objects to things like painting, which we did at Life is Beautiful recently. Painting like oh, a wow. wall? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Wow. Uh, we did a mural that was roughly one meter by 15 meters during Life is Beautiful. That is so cool. And he can drive a car. Yeah. Like, I, that's, that's crazy. Do you ever get <laughs> nervous after you program him to do a certain thing that it's not going to happen the way you want it to? Um, yeah, uh, fortunately, if, I don't know if the camera can see behind, there's a simulator for him, so most of the time, things like that, we can run through the simulator and see if something's going to go wrong, but occasionally that doesn't happen, and you go into trying it live and something very unexpected happens. Um, at that point, hopefully you're either with a gantry or not close to him because he weighs about 180 pounds, so. So I want to see what he can do. Can you show okay. us something? Yeah. Um, Giho, do you want to get him to walk a little bit? And while he's doing that, what are mm -hmm. some reactions people have when they see a robot in front of them? Um, so far, people seem to be really curious about it. Uh, it's not something that people get to see, and they see it in a movie, they see little toy robots, but something like this is not common. Uh, a lot of curiosity, and then once they approach and start interacting, you know, they seem really fascinated by this is where actual robotics is at right now, and it kind of seems the more technology-oriented people to be excited about the future of where things are heading. I mean, it's really cool. I'm trying to imagine driving on the street and seeing the, obviously it doesn't do that you know drive like just by itself but i mean it's crazy to think that a robot can just drive a car you know yeah um you know actually one of the things we're doing right now is we are partnered with local motors and working on autonomous driving with them and for right now hubo is part of that development project um, so we've done a little bit of driving during the darpa robotics challenge but we're looking to push that, you know, even further. Okay. So he gets. So so how does he walk? Because we know he drives and he gets out of the car. So let's see how he. Mm -hmm. That's his whole walking right. thing. Somebody yeah. pulled this yeah. wire. Okay. okay. So. Ready? Just, uh, walk? Uh, mm -hmm. just okay. The, just this. Just. Okay. Yeah. So he's gonna walk in place. Um, Looks like he's dancing a little bit. <laughs> this, is yeah. just, this is just ready because we because 
working in Hubo, we need to the initialize. So I initialize now. So mm -hmm. I will try to work in. OK. Mm -hmm. So everything about his walking is, is very systematic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, this is one of the more dangerous things to do with him in the sense of if he falls from this position, it could damage him. The walking um, is more dangerous than the driving? Uh, yeah, actually, because so he's wow. in a vehicle, you know, you're restrained in a sense, but from walking, humanoid robotics, walking is still a very uh, difficult task. Wow. Um, that's part of why most robots you see, whether they be toys or anything like that, are not bipedal. Mm -hmm. um, but, all right. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. As as you know, young adults, we sort of take for granted all of the uh, things that we actually do while we're walking. Mm -hmm. um, if you can sort of imagine yourself either as a child or an elderly person, you know, when you have a little bit less control over your balance and things okay. like that. If you look a little bit that's, like this, right? That's a little bit more where humanoid robotics is at. And then I saw a video online, and he gets out, he walks, and then he drops and rolls yeah. also. Yeah. Um, so, Giho, after this walk, we want to put him down into wheel mode. Okay. 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 So how did Hubel do in the competition? Um, you know, we're really proud of how we did. Out of 24 teams in, out of the entire world, we placed eighth. Wow. Um, so, you know, you're talking about MIT, you know, um, Boston Dynamics was out to support their robots. Um, oh. And in the initial stages of the competition, uh, one of the teams is, was actually absorbed by Google. So wow. um, it's, it's pretty stiff competition. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we feel that what we were able to produce was definitely worth being there. Okay. Wow. Um, Where do you see the future of robotics going? Um, you know, I think that a lot of people get concerned, like, oh, robots are going to take our jobs and things like that. But really, what robots do is they supplement your life. You know, they might replace some of the jobs, but in doing that, you'll see more jobs created to help support the robots, or people will be able to move into other things. So instead of someone, you know, stacking boxes in a warehouse, that person will be free to do something else that's more important to the warehouse operations. All right, well, thank you guys for being here. This is a really cool um, um, demonstration of the robot, and we'll be right back. <laughs>